Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel, Blessed Teen. Um, I'm sorry for not posting a lot. Towards the end of the summer, it got, like, really crazy and extremely busy. But, yeah. Um, I will be posting more, so that should be good. So, let's just get into the video. Okay, so today's topic for the video is I am not ashamed. Basically, the video is going to be about how to not be ashamed or embarrassed of sharing the gospel. And I know it's hard for a lot of people because when we try to share the truth and the gospel, we either have people making fun of us, making rumors, like there's always some kind of problem that the devil will try to throw at us to stop us from showing the love of God to people. So today's video is going to teach you how to stand against it and how to have faith stronger than any rumor or anything that the world tries to throw at you. So I have five topics um, that I want to go over explaining this scenario. Okay, so this goes for all the Christians. You know what a life-changing and amazing experience it was to accept God into your life and to accept Him as your Savior. Why should we want to keep that to ourselves? We want to go tell other people about God so they can experience it too. It's really nothing we should keep to ourselves because think about this. The Lord didn't keep His Son to himself he didn't keep the good news to himself he gave his son to us to us sinful people so if a holy figure if God gave his perfect son to us then us sin sinful people the least we can do is share the gospel to others because God's gracious and Jesus is gracious so we should be gracious too the gospel and the good news is nothing to keep to yourself. It is meant to go and spread. Topic number two, we are called to be disciples. Christians, we all know it is said that we are called to be disciples. That is God telling us, that is God. We should listen to him. We are called to go and make disciples. We're not supposed to keep it in our room or in our household. It's supposed to go out to the world, whether it be in the classroom or it be out in a foreign country. It's our job as Christians, so that should be one reason to share the gospel. Topic number three. We should have the faith in God to get us through it. We can trust him that no matter what will happen, he will get us through it and just keeping your faith strong is extremely important especially as a christian so we should always have the faith that god will get us through it that doesn't mean that bad things won't happen bad things will happen sin was in the world and it destroyed it we should just always have our faith because it will help us get through anything okay topic number four the world is crazy like you see on the news how crazy and twisted the world is so why would we listen to what they have to say about us we should not care what they say okay they can judge us they can talk about us but they need to look at themselves in the mirror and see how twisted they are you're doing God's work, and there's nothing wrong with that. There's always going to be people, like, persecuting you, making fun of you, making lies up about you. But at the end of the day, you're doing God's work, so you're doing right. So you shouldn't care what other people say. There's always going to be those people, and that's the devil trying to stop you from sharing the gospel and the good news and all of that. So don't let it stop you because you need to know at the end of the day that you're doing God's work and there's nothing wrong with you. The world is twisted. 
so the world's opinion doesn't matter. Topic number five, and this goes for any country that has the freedom of religion. If you live in a country that you are allowed to express your religion and you are allowed to spread the gospel, do it. Do not take advantage of it. Because there are countries out there where they're not allowed to spread the gospel in their set to one religion. And if they go against it, they're killed. So if you have the freedom to spread the gospel and spread the love of God, do it. Because you have such a good advantage. Because people out there can't. Like, in some foreign countries, they can't. And it's really sad because it's not as free as a lot of other countries. A lot of countries out there, they're either set to one religion or they're not allowed to express their religion at all. So if you live in a country that is allowed to talk about religion or spread the gospel or spread the religion, please do it. Don't take advantage of that. Don't just sit down and say someone else will do it. You need to take initiative and you need to get up and spread the gospel. I just want to thank y'all for watching this video. And I want to end it saying, when you lay your head down on your pillow, you're going to sleep. You need to think about the promise that God made you. When you become a Christian, God promises you eternity with him in heaven so no matter what the day threw at you or no matter what someone said about you for expressing your faith you can know that you will spend eternity in heaven with God take God's promise and keep it and also share it share the good news so thank you all for watching and y'all have a blessed day